Medical Terminology, Lesson 9. Parts of a cell. The mitochondria provide the primary source of energy for the cell. Through catabolism, a chemical process where complex foods are broken down into simpler substances, they release energy for the cells to use. Parts of a cell. The endoplasmic reticulum is a network of cellular tunnels within the cytoplasm of a cell. Ribosomes are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. Through a process called anabolism, which is the process of building large proteins from smaller proteins called amino acids, rib ribosomes create long chains of proteins. Hormones and enzymes are examples of some of the important proteins ribosomes create which are essential for cell growth. Metabolism. Metabolism is the total of all chemical processes, anabolism and catabolism, that occur in the cell. If a person has a fast metabolism, sugar and fat are used up very quickly and processed into energy. If a person has a slow metabolism, foods are burned slowly, which results in fat collecting in cells. Types of cells. All cells have certain structures in common. However, in the embryonic stage of development, they become specialized to perform specific functions in the body. They are different in appearances and characteristics. Types of cells. Muscle cell. Long and slender, contains fibers that aid in contracting and relaxing. Epithelial cell. Lines tissues and skin cells. Some are square and flat to provide protection. Nerve cell. Some are long and have several fibrous extensions that help carry impulses. Fat cell contains large empty spaces for storing fat. Tissues. When a group of like cells work together to do a particular job, they are referred to as a tissue. A scientist who studies tissues is known as a histologist. Similar tissues may be found in different areas of the body. There are four types of tissues epithelial, muscle, connective, and nerve tissues. The combining form histo means tissue. Epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue is found all over the body. It lines internal organs, the outer surface of skin, exocrine glands, and endocrine glands. Originally, the word epithelial referred to the flesh on the nipple. The combining forms thello and thelio mean nipple. When muscle is under conscious control, it is referred to as voluntary muscle. This type of muscle is found in the arms, legs, and any part of the body that moves. All, of, all other types of muscle are referred to as involuntary muscle. This type of muscle is not under conscious control and is usually found in the organs such as the heart and digestive system. Cardiac muscle is only found in the heart and contractions of this type can be seen in a scan of a six-week-old fetus. Connective tissue. Connective tissue includes adipose, fat, cartilage, flex flexible fibrous tissue that is attached to bone, bone, and blood. Nerve tissue conducts impulses all over the body. Organs. Internal organs are composed of several types of tissues, including muscle, nerve, and epithelial tissues. The fancy medical term for internal organs is viscera. 
which is plural, or viscous if you are only referring to a singular organ. Internal organs that are found in the abdomen, known as the abdominal viscera, are the liver, stomach, intestines, pancreas, spleen, and gallbladder. Body systems. Internal organs are organized into body systems based on what their function is. For example, the digestive system includes all organs that are responsible for digesting food and absorbing it into the bloodstream. The organs of the digestive system are the mouth, pharynx, fancy name for the throat, esophagus, stomach, intestines, both small and large, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. All right, folks, this is not going to be on the test, but I wanted to tell you to check out my blog. Um, I'm making up uh, glossaries of medical terminology. I have a glossary of medical terminology prefixes. Uh, in the future, I also plan to do glossaries of combining forms and suffixes. You can visit my blog at the address in blue. Uh, these glossaries are really nice because they contain medical terms that are not commonly used and most likely would probably never appear in your textbooks. Uh, I was in a medical co coding course for an entire year and I didn't know many terms that I found in them. So uh, I encourage you to check out the glossaries.